Hello, my crochet friends. It's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet. I have quite a few things I'd like to share with you today. I have five FOs, but I can only share four because one was a garment I was testing and it's still underground. So I finished it and I did a a photo shoot of it today and I just was wiped out and I was going to do a video earlier but here I am late of day and nonetheless I hope you're having a lovely weekend crocheting. So I have four FOs to share with you and I re acquired some very cool acquisitions that I'd like to share with you at the end of this video. One I got from KS Mom Crochets, the other I got from Brenda the Newbie Crocheter, and the other thing that I got was from Gail who is my neighbor. We did um, we did an exchange and so I'd like to share that with you at the end. If you'd like to know what I got let you know stick around till the end. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the first thing. This is a free pattern off of Instagram. Here it is. <laughs> he was super cute and easy. I use the yarn that I despise. I have one roll of it left, and, and that is what we exchanged, Gail and I, we exchanged yarn. I gave her a bunch of yarn, and then she exchanged, gave me some yarn. Uh, so I had one roll and it feels nice, like it's a velvet sweater. This is a free pattern and I believe the name that I got it under is called Mania Free Patterns and I will have it listed down below. If you have IG, um, feel free to follow me there. I'll take a picture of him and then link where I got it. Uh, so this is really cute and there's the little bear tail. He was very easy, very cute, and very easy to make. Very simple design. And yeah, I enjoyed making that. So I had this scrap and I'm trying to get rid of this. So it worked out. I made a cute little bear. The next thing I made, Crochet Confetti, if you do not know her, is a fantastic doll designer. And she does not steer away from teaching you something in her patterns. But nonetheless, I have never had a problem doing her patterns, never a problem understanding them. I have made several, oh, let's see. I let her hair down, but she was my hocus pocus, I forget her name, the redheaded one. And then her, I turned her into a multicolored because I was trying to finish some yarn. Uh, so. Crochet Confetti does fantastic designs. Um, I love her designs and I learn something from each of them. So here's the, my favorite part was the designing of this leg. I loved it. You are always going to learn something from her patterns. Let me put these back. <laughs> Here is my next Crochet Confetti doll. Oh, there she is. Should I blush her cheeks? I think I should blush her cheeks. So I got this blush off Dollar Tree. It's very um, pixelated, so I just give it a dab. And she does have some little freckles that I put on her, but it's so light. Okay, here she is. So I blushed her just a little bit. She never, they, I don't think her patterns ever have noses. And I, I always put mine on and I didn't put one on this time. So here she is. She's so beautiful. Okay, and she has, I made sure I wasn't gonna run out of yarn on this one. Um, I got these at the clearance e lobby and these are the cotton cakes and I can't I want to say this color was gardenia this one was a very light pink and those are the only colors I used but I did use just a spot of gray which I also had in the very same um, cotton cakes the only thing that I didn't like about this pattern but it was a cute pattern and maybe I just didn't do it right. It was the puff sleeves on her. 
it made it look like she was doing this. And so I took out the stuffing, even though she said to put stuffing. How does it look to you? Does it look odd or anything? I feel like they look just... <laughs> She's so beautiful. Now she is called the bunny. She's called Bunny Marshmallow. And so I really didn't know whether to put her in my bunny lineup of videos. I, I make a lot, I crochet a lot of bunnies and then I have my own playlist for just the bunnies I make. But she's more of a girl, so I didn't know whether to put her in there. So I may give her a little spotlight on my next bunny pattern. By the way, if you have bunny patterns that you'd like to share with me or showcase in my next video, I have my email listed down below and you can send me your bunny patterns or your bunny makes and I will share them on my video. So she's super darling. Okay, so the problem that I had, and, and this just will, re it's just, it only requires patience, basically. I would have liked to got to get this more even and more lined up and more straight. And if you check out her Etsy uh, shop, you can take a look. She used a little bit darker of a pink. Mine is much lighter, but it's so beautiful. It's just darling. Okay, so this was the new thing that I learned with this pattern. It was the hairstyle. So you make this little circle here and then you make a bunch of strands and then you just lie them down it's an excellent pattern i always learn something with hers and that is why i will continue to make them not only that but she, her her prices are on point if if not underpriced and so i will continue to buy them on sale or not on sale and i think she does put sales on often by the way, if you ever have a pattern that you like, and you may already know this, but just in case you don't, if you find a pod, if you find a pattern on Etsy, just like it and follow that designer, and then you will get notified when that pattern goes on sale. If you have notifications on your Etsy or you check it often, you won't miss it. So that is a way to get your patterns a little cheaper on Etsy. And just in case you didn't know loved my new crochet confetti doll. She's quite darling. Like I said, the only problem I had was making sure to line these babies up. There is so many of them and you know, she's perfectly imperfect, just like me. And I'm no perfectionist, but she is so beautiful. Okay. Uh, so let me know what you think about those arms though. I mean, do they look odd? Okay. There you go. Let's just get her next. Okay, the next two items, I was given this yarn by a dear friend and subscriber who might start her own channel soon, but for now she was sharing her crochet goodies, which was lots of yarn with me. And I wanna utilize that. So we have this little challenge going on where I'm trying to use up this ball in as many projects as I can. Cassandra already did it um, just a little, a little each time. So here I am a little each time. Here's the first one. This is by one of my favorite designers as well. And her name, her designer, the designer is a quarry wool. And again, this is another designer that does not, she, she's also the designer behind the bee there. I love, I love making those patterns because it's, it's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it because when you're making it and it's just, you see it taking shape and it's so weird, but so cool. And then you feel like you did it, but she's the designer. <laughs> so this is her unicorn pattern and it is on um, Etsy. Aquari wool and crochet confetti are my auto buys. They uh, just automatically, I buy them. Um, so here she is. Look at those. Fantastic. This is the yarn 
Uh, it's just glorious. I loved making those and it was going to be a surprise on if I was able to do it because sometimes I can come through on a pattern and sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm so glad this came through. This one I had a little bit of trouble with like, but I got it. I got it. It's supposed to be an inner tube, but it's too big. So I you know, folded it over. I may undo this and, you know, use the yarn again for something else. So she's, she's ready to go take a dip in the pool on a hot day. Such a cute design. I loved, uh, Aquari Wool is one of my favorite designers as well as Crochet Confetti. Just love those. So it's just you make a bunch of rows and the way that you sew it together is how you get this. It's so cool. Okay, it's so cool. So yeah, that is what I used to make with that yarn. The next one is, oh, there he is. <laughs> this is Barney Bow and this is a pattern that I bought off Etsy and the hat came out too big for me but you know whatever i used karen simply soft for his white i love the design of the face on this it's within the crochet pattern here he is without his hat so cute um yeah this one came out a little big so i don't you know my tension is always a problem but here's the back side of him. Very easy pattern. His name is Barney Bow. I will have all these patterns linked down below. Um, but the shaping on the face is so cool. I think I'm going to take off his scarf so you can see him. You see the design that she incorporated with it's like he has cheeks and a muzzle it's a very cool design he's sweet so that is uh barney bow and this is the second thing i have also made a couple of other things with this yarn uh, i made the crystals chronically crocheting little tiny cat that was the first thing i made so here's project two and three i think so those are the four things that i made um not including the sweater that i finished but on to um a very special gift i got from julie oh my goodness Oh, isn't that so cute? Now, just in reference, um, uh, I mean, in her video, I thought it was so much bigger. I don't know why, but the videos are so deceiving. This is very tiny. And when I saw it on her channel, I told her, oh my God, I need that pattern. And she so kindly just sent it my way. And it was such a surprise and such a lovely thing to it, to get in the mail. It was so cute. And I had already thought about um, trying, because this is a vintage pattern, so you really can't get it anymore. And I was going to like try and just mimic it based off crochet confetti's uh, dress designs i could very easily use crochet confetti's designs for a dress and then just make a basic bunny pattern but uh, she sent it to me and now i get to look at it so she doesn't actually stay in here i actually keep her downstairs and um in front of me when i'm crocheting so i get to see her on my shelf in my living room as I'm working. And so, yeah, I keep her downstairs. Yeah, so I, I brought her up just for the video. Okay, and then Gail. So Gail and I are very close neighbors, and so we decided I'm going to unload all the things I dislike. <laughs> no, 
I'm just kidding. She very much wanted to try some yarn for me and I also wanted to get rid of some yarn and she so kindly said, oh, I love that yarn. So I was like, here you go. But she also gave me something in return and it's something I have never tried before. It is the ice yarns. I have never bought ice yarns. And so I got all these yarns that are, I think they're like a DK weight or a number three weight, but they're very beautiful colors. There's a black, a yellow, and a purple. My signature color. <laughs> Actually two of them. So two of the blues and this mauve pink, and then this black, yellow, and purple. That is gonna make some for some cool projects. So I got those from Gail, so I may try to, you know, designate those for some projects. I look forward to trying those ice yarns. Have you tried ice yarns? Um, this one is actually Alana. All I see is Alara as the name. I don't know other than it being ice yarn. So this will be fun to make. This will be fun to do. The third thing I got was something that I purchased from another crochet podcaster and her name is Brenda the newbie crocheter and I haven't even opened it yet but it is a blocking board. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to take off some stuff and then show you. Okay, can you see it? It is a blocking board and it says for the love of crochet at the bottom. And it is in the design of a granny square. Isn't that cool? So she and her husband make these it's very smooth it's very nice and it has these um, rubber tabs at the bottom to keep it on your table so it won't scratch if you're you know using it it has her signature here but this is a blocking board I've never had a blocking board but with garments I find that I do feel like I need to make have one as as well as for all the little granny squares that I make. Sometimes, like I said, my tension is so different day to day, minute to minute. It changes. I don't know what it is, but this is gorgeous. So I got this blocking board and she has quite a few available and she will customize it for you. I customized it for what this says and she has more that has a granny square that says block your granny I think. Very cool. So I'm very happy that I was able to purchase this from Brenda the newbie crocheter because I don't have a blocking board and I think this is a nice quality. She did give me um I, I don't know if other pegs will fit. Brenda, if you're watching, <laughs> will those ones that you can buy off Amazon that have like look like a comb, will it fit? You don't know. But she gives you, and you can get more from her, but uh, it, it would probably have to up the price. So she gave me four of the long ones so that you can build your granny squares. You know, you could just stack them, have a granny stack. And then she put in four medium size pegs. And then I think you get about eight or nine of these little ones that are in a bag. So, so there we go. I got my own blocking board. I look forward to trying this out. Okay, and then I just quickly wanted to mention, if you haven't heard of hooking up with books, um, this was something that I made in the last um, hooking up with books. It was for a man called Uwe. So we read a book, we take a couple of months, and then based off our reading, we crochet something based off that inspiration. And I chose one of the characters and the heart and the kitty are part of the book as well. Um, so if you haven't read the book, so hooking up with books is really cool. And the book that we are currently on is The Giver. And this is a Lois Lowry book. 
My daughter is nine years old and we are both reading this. I imagine she won't understand certain things, but she finds it very interesting. And I, I'm, I think I'm, it's a very fast read too. I got the large print from the library. It's only 221 pages. Very easy read. Probably could read it in a couple of days. Um, so we got through chapter, I think we're 20% through. And we just read for a few hours. So very fast read, but so interesting. And so many interesting conversations to have. And the world that she created, um, it's a dystopian novel. So it's like, if you ever seen Pleasantville, this this gives you Pleasantville vibes. That's the kind of world it is. So I won't tell you anymore because, you know, join us for Hooking Up With Books. I host this with Craftably Ever After and I, and we just, we have such a good time and we love it. And we'd love for you to join us. And so you send us your pictures. Again, my email is in the link. Copy and paste it to your so there's no like mishap of me not getting your project picture. But realize we're all human and um, I'm if I miss it, you know, just rem remind me and I will probably show it in the next one. Uh, you could also share your stuff with me on Instagram and I also post pictures there. So feel free to come hang out with Hooking Up With Books. It's, it's a lot of fun and we're really enjoying it. And it, it really gets your creative juices flowing too. Okay, so I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, let me know what you're working on. Talk to you soon. Bye.